This is Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Greg's No Simp September, August 31st. I've always been bullied for respecting women, and I just don't get why. Just because I watch Pokemon and VTubers day and night, give them hundreds of dollars taken from my mom's credit card, and dream of being stepped on by my queens, doesn't mean I'm a simp, okay? This all started because I kept drawing Pokemon and my favorite VTubers. When someone saw me drawing, I got punched in the back. Ever since that day, I got bullied for it. simping. Even people that were known for simping bullied me. I couldn't believe they could betray me. I tried as hard as possible to conceal my simp activity after that happened. Unfortunately, my brother Roderick found out somehow. And he made it very clear that he knew that I am a simp. He keeps calling me a simp when I donate hundreds of dollars to a poor woman that I see on Twitch. He even calls me a simp when we're doing chores. And when I tell on him, mom and dad let him get away with it. I'm pretty sure they agree with him. I think Roderick found out because of Manny. Manny is always a f***ing snitch. He even admits he stalks it sometimes. And I'm sure he found out by stalking me. I told mom that Manny has been stalking me, and of course, that daughter of a bitch didn't want to believe it. That's why I f***ing hate Manny and his spoiled ass. He's a f***ing ploopy. I want to punch him so bad, but if I do punch him, he'll snitch on my ass and get me in trouble. Also, why is he even stalking me and Roderick? Does he have nothing else to do or something? I went to that piece of s***. Manny and asked him why he's stalking us, and he said that Johnny Cheddar is stalking us, not him. If he was honest, he would give me a whole list of why it's completely justifiable to stalk me and Roderick. I bet he either told mom and dad that Johnny Cheddar is the one stalking us, or would show the list. September, Tuesday. Unfortunately, it turns out the poor woman wasn't actually poor and only wanted clout and money. I was so entranced by her looks that I refused to use common sense. I found out about that by looking at the latest news from a newspaper. That put me in a really bad mood when I got to school because I donated thousands of dollars from her from mom's credit card. Oh, I forgot to mention that my mom won a million dollars from the lottery. Not to brag or anything. Anyways, when I was walking to school with Rowley, he asked me if I simp for a girl this month. I said no and he asked that if I was doing no simp September. I said no and maybe I should start now. I said that as a joke, but I guess he didn't think I was. He said if I wanted to give up the challenge, I should go to Eric Glick for some good picks. He said they got some good picks from a while ago and change him into a man. I thought he was talking baloney, but I still went to Eric Glick. It turns out he does have some good picks. When I got in line for the good picks, I saw some guy walking out of line and holding a picture of Pokimane. And at that moment, I instantly knew that this line truly is a line for simps. Also, there's this guy that was so down horrendous that they kissed and licked all over the picture as soon as they got it. He was a mega simp and absolutely did not care about what anyone said about him. Couldn't be me. When I finally got in front of the line, I bought four pictures, one pick cost one dollar, and fled out of there. Unfortunately, I didn't put the pictures against my chest because they were too big for my pockets. Fortunately, nobody looked at the pictures, but I think people were giving me strange looks. Wednesday. I was at lunch, I noticed that Fregley is in the line for people waiting to get a seat. He has been exposed for being a simp for giving flowers and chocolate to a girl yesterday, and not even the simp table at lunch would give him a seat. I felt bad for him, so I don't have a seat with me at a table with me. You might be thinking by now, did he lie about not simping in September when talking to Rowley? My answer is that my mom forced me to stop wasting money on the poor woman on Twitch and Pokemon and all VTubers before September. Anyways, when I let Frankly be at my table, he instantly got jumped by the people at my table, so I guess my efforts were worthless. Nothing else interesting happened other than that, so I guess that is it for today. Thursday. So, when I came home from school, I went to the bathroom to pee. And I saw mom with a pretty realistic wig, makeup, without glasses, and pretty much looked like a completely different person. And she looked exactly like the poor woman from Twitch. So yes, I simped for my own mom. All I know now is that I wish nobody, and I mean absolutely nobody, finds this diary. But I'm sure Manny's talking right now at this second, and is going to expose the contents of this diary. So, I guess I wish that won't happen. F*** Manny. Friday. After I got traumatized by raising the ugly truth about mom, I haven't been talked to her. I hope I can get past this and forget all about the situation, but not now. I need time to recover from that realization. While I recover, I might as well have some fun. When I was at recess, I saw the find a friend station turn into a find a simp station. I guess they found that nobody's responding to the find a friend station other than making fun of the person that uses it. Now it's the other way around. I figured that if I wanted to have fun, I could make fun of a simp. So I pressed the button. Unfortunately, I was the one that was going to get made fun of. It turns out that Mr. Nern is a simp. When he went to me, he said if I would like to play simp chess, and I said yes. I don't know why I said yes, but what I said was set in stone. Also yes, simp chess is different from normal chess. Very different. Well, it's time to start writing this diary. I have a weekend that I'm mostly looking forward to, so this is goodbye.
for now, Saturday. So my mom said she never won the lottery. And because she was owning tons of money because of my simping, she decided to fake being poor because she knew that simps were going to give her money as she just looked pretty enough and that's why she wore the makeup. I asked her why she faked winning the lottery in the first place and she said she didn't want to make me, my brothers, and dad suspicious about all the money she suddenly got from Twitch. That didn't really help my already bad mood. So I decided I'll just go outside and guess what I saw. Go on, guess. I saw Fragley holding hands with Ruby Birds at the sidewalk. I'm not joking. I mean, I'm also not that surprised he got a girlfriend because they're both equally weird and they seems like a match made in heaven if you ask me. So the pig is back home now. I don't know why he would only come back after several months just to watch Coco Melon. But you do you pig. I wish I didn't say you do you pig because now he's kissing and looking all over Roderick's magazines. If he wanted to simp, he should have simped at a time that's not September or November. But again, you do you pig. So far, my mom told me something I would rather not hear. I go outside and see Fregley and Ruby Bird holding hands. I go back inside to see the pig watching Coco Melon, and then see him kissing and licking all over Roderick's magazines, and it immediately leaves when I catch him sipping. So yeah, not that much of a good start. I decided to go to Rowley's house and ask him what he wanted to do. He said we could watch some Coco Melon, play some board games, or play with some action figures. I said no to all those suggestions, and so we should start a business. I said we could be simp detectives and spy on people and take them down to their simps. Of course, he didn't want to do that and said it's wrong to spy on people, but he eventually agreed to do it in about 0.2 seconds after he said that. He ran back to his house to make the sign and left me with nothing to do. When I looked around for something to look at, I saw Fregley and Ruby Bird holding hands again. I don't know why they were moving as slow as a slug, but I chose to look at something else instead. When Riley came back, he had a whole table that said, Sim detectives were hired. When me and Riley sat in our chairs, a man in a white shirt, black tie, black pants, and black shoes came up to us and gave us $10. He said that he's worried that his wife is cheating on him, and said he wanted to spy on his wife. I wanted to say, SIMP, so bad, but I decided to keep that to myself. He pointed it and said, there, and me and Riley hid. The two of them didn't look at where they were going and bumped into the man. The man said, ha, I caught you red-handed. Surprisingly, the woman said, get away from me, creep. And the man she was cheating with punched the other man in the face and they both ran away. The man started crying all I could do was pat him on the back. He got off from the sidewalk and ran back home. Look, before I say this, I just wanted to let it out and couldn't handle holding it in. When he started running, I shouted SIMP from the top of my lungs. That obviously did not make anything better, but it felt good to let it out. Sunday. But when we went to his room, his entire room was filled with Joshi posters. Even though they said he would stop simping for Joshi back in August. He's still simping for Joshi, and here I thought Riley would keep his word, but no. I guess he just turned really down bad ever since he saw those good pics. I said he should really stop simping, and he shouted at me and said I was just jealous. I shouted back at him and said I'm not gay like you, so I can't simp for him. He instantly shouted, just wait till Twitter hears about this. When he said that, I knew my life was going to be ruined. When he was saying that, I was just looking through his Joshi posters, merch, and CDs. Also, if you don't know already, Twitter is basically a hole that when you go in it, you will find tons of stupid posts about canceling people for being racist or homophobic, when they really aren't. I didn't think Rowley would be on Twitter, but I guess I can't always know what will happen next. He quickly went under his bed and got a monitor and PC. I don't know how he got a PC and a monitor, but I think it's best if I don't question him. After he plugged in the computer, he immediately went to Twitter and made a tweet about how I'm home. After he plugged in the computer, he immediately went to Twitter and made a tweet about how after he plugged in the computer, he immediately went into Twitter and made a tweet about how I'm homophobic. My life is over. If you're wondering how my life is over, everyone at my school uses Twitter. That means my social life at school will be completely over. I'm going to sleep and stop writing this thing. I need some sleep to think of the ways how to handle the situation. So this is goodbye for now. Uh, again, Monday. As I fully expected, today wasn't a very good day. Again. Everyone in my school uses Twitter and saw Riley's tweet about me. That means people are going to be bullying me and making rumors. To be honest, all I want is this for a situation to die down and everything will be back to normal. But first, I need to find out how to make everything die down. I'm currently writing this class and I don't want to get caught, so I'll stop writing for now. Guess what happened right after I stopped writing? Go on, guess. All I know is that you probably guessed wrong, because what happened was the person speaking to the mic shouted at the top of their lungs, Greg Hefley's a homophobe. I don't know why you were shouting so loud as if they wanted the whole neighborhood hearing that, but surprisingly, everybody immediately went back to what they were doing right after that. I guess I didn't need to worry about anything after all. When I got home, Manny was writing a book about how to get away with simping. At this point, I'm not even surprised he's doing stuff that's way above his age level. Anyways, when my dad saw him writing in his book, he immediately took it from it and ripped all the pages in half. I think he thinks my simping is spreading because when I was about to go to bed, my dad said, 
and better not catch you simping in this house. Right after he said that, I shouted, your wife is a money h I then said that she faked winning the lottery and that she got money from Twitch by acting like she's poor. The only reason I even said that was to make him focus on something else that's not me. But I didn't actually think he would believe it. He quickly ran to mom when she was getting a snack and shattered at the top of his lung. You f He punched her in the face and then she punched him back. That was turned into a war zone. If you got in their path, you would have been immediately mauled from the constant punches and kicks. Mom and dad were doing kicks, punches, full Nelsons, biting, scratching, headbutts. Mom even punched dad in the crotch. Fortunately, Manny jumped in between their fighting and said that if they continued to fight, he would cry. I guess I'm kind of glad he's taking advantage of being spoiled, but that doesn't mean he's in the safe zone for me. Mom and dad immediately stopped fighting when Manny spoke, and thankfully so, because they were getting a little too aggressive. They decided to handle the whole situation tomorrow and went back to bed. I decided to go back to bed too and started writing this. That's all for today, so bye, if anyone is reading this. Tuesday. Today we got our independent study assignment and we were supposed to make a list of how to avoid simps. I have absolutely no idea what had to do with independent studies, but Mr. Darnell said he just wanted us to do it. And if we didn't, he would just give us all a bad score. I forcefully wrote ways to avoid simps and then the girls came up to show their ways. It was some guy with a broken back chasing a girl. All I can say is that I'm 100% confident my list was better. Considering their list wasn't even a list. When I got home, the door was already open. There was already a big red flag, but I went inside. Mom and Dad were making the house a war zone again. When Mom and Dad noticed me, they stopped fighting each other. Dad walked up to me and said they both already signed the divorce papers and that Mom is going to leave. Mom left and started packing her stuff, while Dad sat down to watch some TV. When Mom finished packing her stuff, she walked up to me with a body blinky from her closet to remember her. With the words... With the words, remember me, my baby, and from mommy. It was the same body blanket she took away from me and Roderick. I don't know if I was allergic to something I didn't know before, but I suddenly started to cry a river and started hugging mom. After I took the body blanket and called down, mom left with her stuff. When I looked at dad, he was crying, and when he noticed me looking at him, he sat up and went to his room. When he left, I put on the body blanket and sat down to watch TV. I couldn't really enjoy wearing the body blanket, especially after mom left just a minute ago. Hopefully she can find a new place to go to, but... I don't think she would need to worry about money, so she might live in a mansion. It's now nighttime, and Dad just found a secret stash of magazines under Roderick's bed. These aren't Roderick's normal magazines either. They're called Simp Magazine. They're magazines filled with pictures of VTubers, Pokemon, and basically any Twitch thought. Dad also found How to Get Away with Simping 101. Apparently after Dad tore apart Manny's book, he wrote the book from scratch and got even further than the last time because he did more secretly. At first, Dad was furious about it, but he cooled off and just wanted to go to sleep. Dad said, Next time, hide your magazines better. And Roger said, whatever, I just want to sleep. He fell asleep right after he said that. Wednesday, I went to Rally's house and played some Twisted Wizard 3 with him. While we were playing, Rally ran to his room. He got the computer from under his bed and started to type into Google Twisted Wizard 4. I don't know why he started to act so strangely, but let's we can get to know if Twisted Wizard 4 had been released, and we just didn't know. It turns out, it did release. In fact, it released a month ago. Rally ran to his dad as fast as he possibly can and begged him to get Twisted Wizard 4 for him. I looked more into the article about Twisted Wizard 4, and it turns out that it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one fighting game. I couldn't really focus on that because I really just had the perfect chance to delete that tweet about me being homophobic. After I did that, I quietly went out of Rowley's house and went back to mine. Now that I deleted that tweet, there was no possible way anyone could find out about it and cancel me. That's it for now, so goodbye for now. Again. Again. Thursday. Grandpa decided to come over today. I didn't think he would come here, especially after his pet rock disappeared. He said that when he was playing throw and catch, he threw his rock so hard that when he blinked, it was completely gone. Like, it was smashed into rubble. If you didn't know, throw and catch is a game where you throw and catch a rock. Pretty stupid if you ask me. When he went into the bathroom, he took out a cigarette, lit it, sat on top of the toilet, and screamed, I love lean! Every time anyone calls him, he always says, Sorry, I'm too busy drinking some lean! And then chucks some more lean and shouts, I love lean! Apparently, he was smoking some lean flavored cigarettes. He says he got them from a kid named Eric Glick. Yes, the same Eric that sold Pokemon pigs at school. I guess he sold stuff even outside of school. Friday. When Dad went to check the mail, he got some Peachy Breeze coupons for free ice cream. When he looked at the back of it, it said, Signed by Susan Heffley. As soon as he saw the, Signed by Susan Heffley part, he slowly walked back to the house and slammed the front door shut and gave me the coupon. When he went to his room, I heard some typing, and when I heard the typing, I snuck into his room. He was typing a message to Mom, and it said, Hello, it is me, your ex-husband Frank Heffley. I would like to talk to you about something. Today you sent me Peachy Breeze free ice cream coupons. Why did you bring me those? You should have known by now that I absolutely despise Peachy Breeze. Unless you actually want to piss me off, if you did do it purposely, f*** you. He then sent the message. 30 seconds after he sent the message, Mom sent the message back. It said, 
I just thought those coupons would be really helpful for you. It's sad to hear that you despise Peachy Breeze. When she sent that, he just got pissed. Well, even more pissed than he already was. After that, I went to my room and tried to go to sleep. That was kinda hard when I could hear dad shouting, punching and kicking the walls, typing furiously, and everything that could possibly keep me awake. When I finally went to sleep, mom was right in front of me. The next thing, I knew I was sitting at the table with mom and some white figures with me. Mom was saying some gibberish and kept stuttering on her nonsensical words. As she kept talking, the white figures kept getting closer to me, opening their mouths. Mom also kept getting closer to me. Her neck kept getting longer and longer, and eventually, all of them were trying to chop my head off. While they were drilling all over my head. Right before they chopped my head off, they stopped and the white figure started to fade out of existence, along with mom. I was sitting in the chair and heard someone screaming, WAKE UP! I sat up and the white space around me turned black and started to resemble faces. I saw a door and Roderick was standing right next to it. He was the one shouting wake up. He then opened the door and I walked into it. When I walked through it, I woke to Roderick over my face. He said that dad left to get some milk and we could watch some TV while he was getting it. I was pretty sure he was going to fall asleep as soon as I turned on the TV and he did immediately fall asleep. I went to dad's room and checked the emails. Yeah, yeah, I know it's bad to look at someone's emails without their permission, but this is different. I'm his son, and I shouldn't need to get permission from him. When I went to his room, I looked through the emails. After mom's response, dad said, You know what? I should have divorced you a long time ago. You can't call yourself my wife if you don't know that I despise PG Breeze. After he said that, mom said, You've changed, Frank. You have changed a lot. If you don't love me anymore, then just say it. Dad then sent several emails saying that he loves her, that he's sorry, and that he's a good guy. All that did was make him look more and more pathetic the more emails he sent. I decided to go back to watching TV after I read the emails. Apparently, there was a Twister Wizard cartoon. The show was super cringe. They kept saying unfunny jokes and sounded like they were desperate for some laughs. I couldn't believe someone actually thought jokes like, Why are you such a noob, Magus? were funny. When I was tired of watching TV, I went to bed again, and Dad came back with the milk when I went to bed too. I'm just glad he actually got the milk, and didn't leave me. Thursday, September 30th. How long has it been since the last row in this thing? 13 days? Over those 13 days, I've been trying to cope with Mom being gone, going to school, watching TV, and just living life. Manny's been crying in his room for ages ever since Mom left, so I don't think he's going to be spying on me anytime soon. I heard that my school caught Eric Glick in the act of printing some Pokemon pictures. I also heard that Fregley and Rube Bird have moved out of town. Good for them, I guess. The pig is still gone, as usual. Me and Riley's business as being symptom texts have been skyrocketing in popularity, so we had money for days. Grandpa finally found his pet rock and stopped drinking lean. Dad started drinking lean, though, so that's a problem. Twister Wizard 4 was actually a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. The cartoon is still absolute trash. Here, I'll give you some examples. But why do you have to be such a sussy baka, Magus? It seems like the nurse posture among us. Stop, stop being such a ba- well, it's been a crazy September, and I haven't been simping for a second. Well, I'm out of paper, so this is the end.